Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is Dr. Shan Buddi and welcome to my channel. In this new series, we will be talking about JavaScript. We will specifically focus on what is JavaScript, how we use JavaScript on our web pages to customize, to get a user feedback, to make our web pages more interactive, especially in validating forms and other tasks. JavaScript is a very cool language that allows us to control our web content and what users is able to see and what not dynamically to some extent um, at a user end. Okay, so in this new lectures, we will be talking more about what is Java and how we use JavaScript very easily and conventionally. If you are here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe the channel, hit that bell icon so you receive all the lectures as you go along and you get the notification for them. So let's begin. Now, traditionally what happens is that we have a browser users enter some requests on the browser. That information is sent to the web servers using get request. Then those web servers basically respond to the user containing some package which has something called HTML, CSS and JS, JavaScript. Okay, a user typically or a browser typically handles HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Usually you would have lots of other languages within our web development courses, but typically whenever we talk about a browser and a user, the user and the browser basically are focused and concerned with what they get as an output, which is again generated using only HTML, CSS and JS. Okay, so primarily we try to focus on these three languages at the mid browser level. At the back end, there can be other, many other tools we will be talking about as we go along throughout this particular course. So a browser basically is concerned with HTML, CSS and JS. And we have been talking about HTML, CSS in our previous lectures. From now on, we will be working more on JS. So when we work with our browsers, basically HTML, CSS and JavaScript is something that we need to focus on. Because whatever the content the user sees is basically created using HTML designed using CSS and controlled to a certain extent using JavaScript. Okay, so this is how basically we put it. HTML is used for content creation or whatever the content is and structuring that content on our browser. The CSS actually designs that content or designs that data, how that design in terms of its display and its user interface is being organized on a screen. It doesn't create or work with the data. CSS only designs it. HTML structures it. JavaScript controls it. It provides some user controls. It provides some uh, user interactivity. It provides some user validations and so on and so forth. Okay, it performs some calculation as well. So all these three basically work at your browser level at a user level. Okay, and then we work and user basically needs to work with that things. Backend involves something called server side programming. Those can be like PHP. So we are not concerned with that. We are concerned with HTML, CSS, JavaScript right now. We have been talking about these three previously. Now JavaScript is what we will be discussing more in detail. So now what is itself JavaScript? JavaScript is basically a very simple programming and scripting language that allows us more interactivity on a web page. It is interpreted language. So basically there is no uh, compiling as you type the code, it gets interpreted, it gets executed on your browser. It runs on the client's computer, so it doesn't run on the server side, that's the major advantage. You write the code, it executes right there on the, every single different PC. So what that basically means, that it controls the interactivity at the client's end. So whatever you write is actually executed on a client's PC, and whatever the client's behavior is based on that, it makes a decision. So it can be a uniform or a unique, sorry, not a uniform, it can be a unique uh, behavior on every single different platform. So that's what makes it more, uh, you know, more appealing because HTML has the same behavior on every single system. CSS, every same behavior on every single system. But JavaScript or through JavaScript, we can change that behavior and display what the user might be able to see, might not, and uh, how the behavior should occur is basically controlled using JavaScript. Then JS basically is, uh, if you talk about in general terms, an object oriented language. It is a in platform independent. So basically whatever you write uh, mostly will be executed on every single platform, whether it's a mobile device, whether it's a PC or Linux or basically uh, Windows or Apple systems. It is platform independent. It has a huge amount of inbuilt functions and certain inbuilt libraries that we use. It is capable of exception handling. If you're coming from programming and languages like Java, uh, we do a very good exception handling in Java that can also be done in JavaScript, uh, which basically means that uh, we can handle errors very nicely. 
okay it allows certain anonymous functions as well we will talk about that uh, in later on sections so these are the major features of what we call javascript are simply speaking what is javascript it's a server side language it adds interactivity to html as a simple user that's what two major things it's a simple scripting language it's not very difficult one major thing it is not directly related to java um uh, it is sometimes because it uses the word java so we assume that it is purely java uh, which is now adopted on a for a web browser that's not the case in fact there is uh, no direct relation with the java and javascript um java is something different javascript is something different java is considered as a programming language object or purely object oriented programming language however js is basically considered as a server side um sorry client side scripting language it's a scripting not purely programming it adds an interactivity it is a very lightweight programming language it is basically embedded into html so you use it individually but primarily we use it as an embedded html code okay similarly interpreted language which basically means it's not compiled like java java is a compiled language however js is what we refer to as an interpreted language it is interpreted it is executed line by line code by code and it's free of cost that's the major advantage you don't have to pay you don't have to download expensive software you don't need expensive systems it is absolutely free of cost you can use it as simply as quickly as possibly as long as you have a browser you can use it so you can very easily use it it's nothing to worry about um what is again html uh, what sorry in js um in terms of a simple illustration html is just a raw data it's just like the skeleton of your content it, it provides the structure basic structure to your raw data css gives it a design colors layout feel and look you know it gives us nice theme js basically gives us a life it provides that interactivity where the people or the user can interact with the code and do various behavioral changes based on their own interactions okay um that's basic definitions now let's get more inside javascript what can javascript do basically javascript can uh, put dynamic text into html okay so for example uh, you make some decision and based on that decision the user gets to see what he has written so it basically can do a dynamic decision or dynamic code at the run time can, based on the user's behavior which we use for example document dot write again we will talk about document write as we go along later on so uh, what we do is we put dynamic content on our web browser right there and then based on some user decisions what they make we take the decisions we process it and then give them this different output without actually going into server side anything previously with html css you cannot do that whatever you write in html gets printed that's it you cannot change it but now you can dynamically change the content then we go into javascript can react to events that's the most essential thing that's how the interactivity comes into play it has a fun built in functions that allows you to interact and react based on what you click mouse over mouse uh, down keyboard keys whatever user is doing based on his input devices the system can behave the web page can behave and adopt that's how interactive games are also developed that's why the interactive games are also developed using js javascript can read html and write html elements what javascript can do is it can read your html components it can write the html components it can change the html components dynamically based on certain events that you perform javascript can be used to validate the data this is the most essential component of javascript that we tend to use very commonly whenever you fill in a form whether it's email form login form password form uh, whether it's your data every form has to have a validation whether you require a phone number but you enter abc that's validation i need an email address but instead of email address you just wrote abc you know you left certain forms blank whether it's a blank or not blank so every form validation requires to be done using javascript at a client end before sending the data to the server so instead of sending the data to the server and the server finds oh the email address is in correct form then it sends a request back to the client takes a lot of time so what we do is we make the decision right there on the client's pc ah you have entered incorrect email address or your name is small or your password can should have 15 characters and you have only entered five characters you know so we we can make that decision right there on the pc then it has something called objects and properties this is again very a uh, common thing javascript basically uh, behaves and it considers your html elements as objects 
and then it can work on those objects and then it creates its own properties so for example it can take your document as an object the web page that you see it can work on it it can take your table forms button images and it works on it as an object and then it takes its properties and changes its properties so for example the background color of your page the entry the form that you enter the data within each form can be read and processed so that data is basically considered as a values as a properties and the text field that's been written in or the form that's been written in is considered as an object then javascript also contains something called methods there are pre-built methods that we use to write the data, to open certain files, to process certain files, to give some alerts, where, and so on and so forth. So there are lots of methods available, and we create those functions and methods ourselves as well to process the code very quickly and easily. Okay, so with JavaScript, you use certain built-in methods. With JavaScript, you create your own methods to perform various different tasks. Similarly, event handling, that's again where the interactivity comes in. JavaScript can perform very good event handling on your web page event handling like a click event handling like mouse over focus loss focus uh, gain blur on load and so on and so forth so there are various different events we will be going through them as we go along all these events have are uh, very easily managed using methods using certain pre-built in functions you process those events and you set your own events and trigger and you work with them finally uh, basic applications if you see all these contents what where we use with javascript JavaScript is used for web development like we've discussed. It is also used for web applications. You can develop very cool web applications purely based on Java. There are a few things we will be talking about that as we go along. The major aspect is there's a presentations as well. You can use JavaScript to create very cool online presentations as well. There is a tutorial. I will be working on that. How you use JavaScript to create online presentations. Very interactive, very appealing. There's again misconception that JavaScript is only worked for uh, what we call client-side PCs uh, or client-side applications. However, you can use JavaScript for something called a server-side applications as well. Okay, uh, JavaScript is also very useful for building server applications, which are sometimes more uh, faster than other server-side applications. Um, Node.js is an uh, open source and free server environment used to achieve this. So if you have heard of Node.js, Node.js is used to create uh, server-side applications using JavaScript. We would be talking entirely on Node.js in certain other sessions as well. Similarly, web servers and games. Now, uh, Node.js has a built-in module, a set of functions that allows the creation of HTTP server. So using JavaScript Node.js module, you can create an HTTP server. So starting as a client-side scripting language, JavaScript is now capable of producing server-side script as well. So do not only rely that JavaScript is a client-side, using Node.js and other certain built-in modules, we are able and capable of producing client uh, server-side applications as well. So it's in the, along with client-side, JavaScript now has the functionality of server-side as well, as well as creating games. Now I'm sure you've already played many HTML um, and web-based games on browsers which basically again are created using uh, what we call javascript and we have a tutorial sessions in my list that we will be creating a very simple javascript based games as well so you can interactively create very uh, simple very easy games uh, for example there's an ezl js library that, that allows us to create a uh, very rich graphics based games for our js space ecl e a s e l i think if i remember the correction ecl js uh, for creating a rich graphics library. So we will be uh, uh, using that as we go along, okay? Um, so this is a basic intro of JavaScript. How we use JavaScript in our code? Very quickly, we use it with something called script tag, okay? In order to use a JavaScript within our uh, core HTML, obviously JavaScript doesn't work individually. You need a basic HTML code as well. You need to embed the HTML, uh, JavaScript within the HTML code. In order to do that, basically what we do is we use a script tag. A script type text slash JavaScript, which basically means that uh, I'm using a script which has a type text with a JavaScript. Then you, you specify the JavaScript code within that script tag. This script tag can be used within the body. This script tag can be used within the HTML head tag as well. This script tag can be used wherever you want to use a JavaScript. It can be used multiple times. If you have a certain actions, then a JavaScript, then certain actions of HTML, then JavaScript. Wherever you need to use JS, you basically use a script type text slash JavaScript code. You specify the codes here. An entire JavaScript code basically comes within the script. Here, basically, we are producing a simple HTML code 
generated from a javascript so currently html body we started a javascript code document dot right now document basically refers to your web page your web page behaves like an object object has certain built-in methods if you come from java you should understand this very easily we will talk about that in later classes in more detail now java base um, javascript basically document behaves like an object object is basically an entity that contains or represents your physical or real world entity okay so here document is an object representing your web page so whatever you can do on your web web page basically is referred is accessed is processed through that particular object called document in this case we are doing dot write now write is an action that we are performing on that object dot is basically a connection operator that connects your object with your function or a method so we are saying that go on to this document as an object use a function called write to write on that object you know so write on that object what do you want to write whatever the content within that bracket is and that content can be an html code that content can be an event that you can be a processing whatever you want to write on that code you can write that okay so that's that's the basic uh, of uh, basic what we do with our html so in this case we we process the content and we use uh, our ca javascript on our html code okay so uh, this is just a brief introduction hopefully you understand it um, if you have any queries and questions don't forget to leave the comments below we will start working with javascript from our next lectures so if you're here again uh, if you watch the video till the end thank you very much for that don't forget to subscribe my channel so you can get the latest on js tutorials as we go along uh, thank you very much see you around fear one another